One of the biggest improvements for this April update for the MCC is really not getting as much love as it should. And in this video, we're going to break it down, the tick rate. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news informational kind of video here. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out this video and the channel as well. If you're new to the channel, stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because it keeps you updated with anything happening with Halo and the channel home, which is going to be everything Halo related, let's be real. And also if you wanted to sound off in the comment sections, please leave, please feel free to do so. I do read all the comments and try to apply them, most of them as well. So let's get right into the information here. So with the recent update to the MCC, everyone's talking about the yapping, the new game modes and things like that, new nameplates, stuff like that, which is all great and fun and everything in between. But, and that's all very upfront user experience kind of stuff, which is obviously fantastic. It's been a great update. But one of the biggest things I think that came with this update was right under the hood of the MCC. And that was updating the servers to 60 Hertz. With the upgrades of the MCC bringing all the previous Halo games up to 60 FPS, but the thing was they didn't go under the hood and update the performance of the servers that they would be connecting to for the networking. And so the big issue was that there was a bit of a disconnect between the frame rate and your tick rate, what that would happen with the games. And so then a lot of people were noticing that the hit detection just doesn't feel as precise as it did previously on the old consoles. And that's because those older consoles only had to play the games at 30 FPS and their tick rate was at 30 FPS for the most part. For some other, some games were a little bit different as well though, but as you can see that with your user experience being seeing the game at 60 FPS, but then only computing information at essentially 30 FPS, if you want to think of it like that, yeah, there's going to be some inconsistencies happening. So with updating the servers to 60 Hertz, it's going to be a much better experience for you. And here's why. So when you're the player, the client, you're sending information to a server. So you're sending button presses, which means also locations and things like that. You're sending all this information. This is what I'm doing. Send it off to the server. The server then calculates that, simulates it, and then sends it back to you at the, hopefully the same pace as well. And that's how basically ping works and Sir Hertz work as well. Now, depending on how often that server refreshes the information, depends how smooth of a game experience you're going to have. You would think that just you're just constantly sending information just to a server, just over and over and over again, just a constant stream. Well, it doesn't exactly work like that because oftentimes servers will get overloaded because they can't just continually be taking in that information. What that happens then is they send the information gets sent to servers in these little packets. And these packets get sent to a server for them to go calculate and then that packet gets sent back to you and that's how, that's what the feedback you have when you're playing your game is and previously for say the mcc especially with say for halo 3 for example which is noted in the previous update saying that halo 3 would on the client side of things would send 15 packets to the server so fit 15 hertz basically which is quadruple less than the frame rate you're actually playing in and then it but then the server would send back packets at 30 hertz so you're getting more information back than you're actually sending out which is obviously a good thing to keep the refresh rate up there but the information that you're sending to the client or to the server isn't exactly up to par and so what happens is that they will have some more inconsistencies with your game as in Shots not registering, people teleporting, maybe even blood shots or things like that where the game recognizes you hit it, but then the server just didn't miss that calculation. It was actually a really big issue back when Black Ops 4 was released when the, they found that the beta of the game ran at 60 hertz for the multiplayer, but then when the game fully released, they released the hertz at 20 hertz, which a lot of people were complaining when that game was released that there was a lot of inconsistencies happening with the game. The hit registration wasn't there, player movement wasn't as smooth as it should have been and that's because they dumbed down the server rates to account for load of, of all these players jumping in at the same time trying to play Black Ops 4 and they've steadily raised it over time I think they're back up to 60 hertz now with their servers because their game plays at 60 fps if a game played at 30 fps you can get away with a 30 hertz server because it will synchronize your experience with information you're sending with information you're receiving it was also an issue back in the Battlefield series I believe in Battlefield 4 they were using 20 tick servers as well with a game that large with that many players in the game at the same time with that many calculations happening but only at 20 hertz especially for a game like battlefield yeah that's going to be a really bad experience and re really was it really hindered battlefield 4 
its launch to the point where a lot of people just gave up because the same is completely broken. So Hertz are a very important thing when it comes to your game experience as a whole, as much as it is for say content that's actually in the game. And now that we're sending information as much as we're receiving information at the speed that we're seeing in the game now, that means that we're gonna have a much smoother and responsive experience while playing the MCC. So you should jump in guys, I bet your hit registration is gonna be a lot better, your player movement's gonna be a lot smoother when you're watching this game. It's a minute detail, but something that's very crucial to the experience, and you basically doubled the performance of the registration of the game itself. But like I said, it's gonna lend itself to better hit detection, better movement, and much smoother experience. And I jumped into a lot of live streams and I was asking people how their thoughts are on this update. And they're like, wow, these 60 hertz, you can definitely notice the difference. And I'm assuming also with Halo 3, which is probably the game I'm feeling is the most inconsistent when it comes to hit registration, is probably, but in hearing that, it's actually been a lot better since the April update. Now, this also doesn't mean that lag is gonna be removed all completely because late Latency is a big issue of just distance over time kind of thing. So obviously, if you're over in Europe, you're connected over to, say, a server in China or something like that, that you're still going to experience lag because it's going to take too much time for your information to be sent to the server and then sent back to you for a fluid experience. Now, if you're eliminating the lag at all at overall and basically having like a LAN situation almost, but through the internet, then that's going to be a much obvious example of how Hertz really do help out with the game. I'm sure a lot of people have heard that when they're playing Halo 3 that, oh, it plays so much better on LAN. It's so much better on LAN. The hit registration is so much better on LAN. Well, that's because it doesn't have to bother with tick rates and anything like that. It's just instant, instant direct inputs, and that's why the game plays so well on LAN. Where you're playing online, things get really inconsistent because, like I said earlier, previously you were sending information at 15 hertz, receiving information at 30 hertz, but playing at 60 FPS. So yeah, it was gonna lead to a lot of inconsistencies when it comes to your game. So with this update, your, your game experience is gonna be overall just much, much better. We'll sound off in the comment section below, guys. Have you guys had a chance to dive your teeth in to this MCC update? I've been busy making videos because I got a, a trip coming up here pretty soon I need to get ready for, so I haven't really had a chance to game a whole lot, making content for you guys. So while I'm away, you guys will be able to be entertained here on YouTube. Uh, if you guys want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe as it greatly helps out the channel, keeps you up to date with everything that's going on with Halo as a whole, Halo Reach coming to MCC, Halo Infinite, uh, Halo 5 updates as well, so stay tuned to all that goodness. Don't forget to tap a like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel. If you guys are new or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.